you really love the depth in this draft at wide receiver. Hey, Kevin, I think this is the deepest group of any position this year. In 2004, we had seven wide receivers going the first round. Could just be six this year when you start to look at this group from Watkins to Evans to Beckham Jr. to Brandon Cooks, Marquise Lee. I love Cody Latimer. He's kind of under the radar. And then Kelvin Benjamin. But... You know, make no, no question about it, Sammy Watkins is the number one player at the wide receiver position. Now, let's assume for a second Jadavian Clowney is the pick to go number one overall for Houston. Still a debate there. Could be a quarterback. I think the reason we talk so much about Sammy Watkins is guys in the league, and I'm talking to teams, you know, there's, they're always asking the same question. He's on the short list. Two to five, all four of these teams. So you start to look at it. It could easily be getting Sam Bradford a weapon for the St. Louis Rams. Now, if he doesn't go two, they could look to go Greg Robinson at that spot. Then Jacksonville's got a tough decision to make. I know they really like Khalil Mack as a pass rusher. They really like Sammy Watkins. They'd love to bring him in with the uncertainty of Justin Blackman. They could go Watkins. Let's say they go Mack. And I think it comes down to four or five for Watkins. You know, Cleveland Browns have a need opposite Josh Gordon. They could wind up bringing in Watkins to bring in another playmaker as they continue to look around the quarterback position. They've got to find a quarterback at some point, but it might not be at number four. And if they wind up, do, if they wind up going with the quarterback position, let's just go with Johnny Manziel to make some people happy. Then I, <laughs> I think crazy. The, the worst case scenario then for Sammy Watkins is going to be going number five to the Oakland Raiders. What makes Watkins so special among this class of six guys that you say could go in the first round? Well, it, it's really the lack of any true weakness in his game. When you watch him, it's the acceleration, first of all, that jumps out, and also the competitiveness. Here you're going to see with Watkins just an unbelievable job lowering the shoulder there, but also, this is what I love about this new touchscreen, by the way, I can hijack this entire segment. <laughs> well, you can see the pursuit angle that this defensive back for Georgia has. Forget it. The instant acceleration really separates him from so many other guys. He's not 6'5". He's not 220 pounds. He's above average in terms of his size and speed, but his ability to instantly accelerate. You love that on tape. Then just the, getting his feet to die on the sidelines, the body control and the tough catches over his head. And I think if there's one question mark with his game, people say, well, Clemson didn't run a true NFL route tree. But you see here he can he can separate. You see those fluid hips, the separation he gets, and then once again, plucking over his head and accelerating up the field. I mean, he just plays at a different level, and that's why I think whether it's two to St. Louis, three to Jacksonville, four to Cleveland, five to the Raiders, he's a top five pick. He is a big ticket name here in yep. round one. Is there another guy out there that we should be talking about a little bit more? Well, I think obviously when you talk about Mike Evans, he's going to wind up. I think he's the second elite receiver, and he's going to wind up in the top ten. I've got him right now going to Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I think also when you start to look at it, Pittsburgh Steelers are a team that could look, if not cornerback, to bring in a weapon for Ben Roethlisberger. And you start to look down the line, the New York Jets are looking for a wide receiver they could wind up with Brandon Cooks who's another explosive guy we know Chip Kelly with the Eagles loves his Pac-12 players Marquise Lee's a good fit there and I think the most intriguing player in this class is Cody Latimer may not be a first round pick he may wind up going a little bit later but you could see the Chiefs at 23 is an option the Cleveland Browns at 26 is another option for him when I look at Latimer perfect fit in that West Coast system the Chiefs run it and then now you're going to see the Cleveland Browns running it as well. You can see the production he had this past year. But at Indiana, we didn't talk about him a whole lot. He's got size. He's got speed. I think he's one of the underrated players in this class. Should be a top 40 pick.